Hey, my name is Luke, and this is the response to the scripting challenge to take out the pesky quotes um, from Google Sheets. I actually just tried it, and it seemed to be working for me, but just yesterday it was doing the same thing. So if I go here, and then paste it, it's not having the quotes, but um, it does happen, so there might be a formatting way to take it out, but let's go ahead and do it with terminal and the shortcut. So essentially what we're gonna do is we're gonna take out the first character, and take out the last. We don't wanna just take out all quotes because if you have quotes inside, it'll take those out too. Now what I use is a terminal command to basically do some stuff to the clipboard. So we'll put the contents on the clipboard, take out the first, then we'll reverse it, take out the first again, and then reverse it back, and then put it back on the clipboard. So what I did was just basically did some searching and like figured out how to cut a first character from a string. So I just searched terminal, remove first character. So let's go ahead and do some stuff in terminal. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and do productivity shop. And I'm gonna, I went ahead and did command C. So I'm gonna do pb paste test.txt. So it's gonna put the pasteboard on a text file and then we'll read the text file. Okay, so it says productivity shop. Cool. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to, okay, so I'm gonna put it on the pasteboard again, and then I'm going to pipe it, which means it'll pass the contents of whatever's in front of the pipe to the next thing. So I'm gonna do cut C1 dash, and then put that in file2.txt. Then I'll cat file2, Okay, so apparently there is a character in front of productivity shop, so let's go ahead and take out two characters. So I'm gonna do, I'm gonna copy productivity shop. I'm gonna do pb paste, cut it two times, and put it in file five txt. Cool, so you see that the P was taken off. So let's go ahead and try it with the Google Sheets stuff. So I'm gonna do Command C, PB paste, and I'll put it in file six. Okay, so it took off the first quote, perfect. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and copy it again, copy the original, and we're gonna do PB paste, boom cut the first two characters. Boom, reverse it. And then we'll put that in file seven. Okay, so now let's go ahead and open file seven. I'm gonna copy it, then I'm gonna go pb paste, cut, one and put it in file eight. Okay, that didn't work, so it needs to be two. Okay, so let's try this. I'm gonna start over. I'm gonna copy it, I term, okay, pb paste, pipe, cut, two characters, and then reverse it, and then cut two characters and then reverse it back, and then put it in file 10. Perfect, it took out the quotes. Okay, so we're almost there. Now, instead of putting it in a file, we'll just put it back on the pasteboard. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and go to Google Sheets. Okay, I'm gonna do PB paste. Cut two characters, reverse it cut two characters, reverse it, and then put it back on, I think it's like this. It worked. So you just need the pipe, okay? So, but it also adds a line at the end, and I have something for that. 
Okay, so we'll do this. I'm gonna go ahead and copy this so I don't have to keep typing it. Usually what I do is I go and add them and I'll try things out and keep a record of what I'm doing. Okay, so this will be trim ending. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and copy this. Actually copy this, put it in terminal. And then I'll copy this, put it on the pasteboard, and then run this code. Now I'm gonna go to IA Writer and paste. Perfect, the cursor is at the end. Now, let's put it in an Apple script. So this will be our code for the Apple script. I'll call it pesky quotes. Okay, so we'll do shell script. Okay, now with Apple script, you need some extra things for the quotes. So you just put a slash in front of this and it'll run. Okay, so what we'll do is we'll say, hey, do command C and then run the clipboard through our terminal command that we just made and then put it back on the baseboard. Okay. All right, so I'm going to click here. I'm going to do, I'll do some new text. I use a little ipsum for like text stuff. Okay, I'm going to put the quotes. All right, so I'm going to do command C. I'm going to run pesky quotes. Okay, now it should paste this text without the quotes. Fingers crossed. And I'll toggle soft wrap. Cool, it worked. Now let's go ahead and save this. We'll save pesky quotes and we'll tie it to a keyboard shortcut specifically for this it with better touch tool. Um, so I'm gonna go to better touch tool. You would wanna put the script pesky quotes somewhere where it can live forever in your file catalog. Check out my other video. Okay, so I'm going to, we'll just do it for Google Chrome. Okay, so I'm gonna do a new keyboard shortcut. I'm gonna do plus sign. Um, we'll do command, uh, let's see what is available in Chrome. We'll do control C. Instead of command C for copy, we'll do control C for pesky quotes copy. Okay, so I'll click here, do control C and then assign first action to select a trigger, go to the Apple script, and navigate to the Apple script file. Okay, go to the desktop, choose pesky quotes, save, better touch tool, restart better touch tool, go to Chrome, Okay, so let's test it out. I'm gonna do Command C and paste. So it's the normal copy and paste. There are the quotes. Now I'm gonna do Control C and paste. Boom, no quotes. Wacom tablet, Wacom pen tablet drop. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Um, but yeah, um, hopefully you learned something cool. Um, I'll just provide the script at the end uh, and do some chapters and stuff. But Anyway, thanks so much for watching and sending in the challenge. Later.